This book is called Animals in Winter by Henrietta Bancroft and Richard G. Van Gelder and illustrated by Gaetano De Palma. Oh, look at the eyes. <laughs> Animals in winter. Let's see. The days grow short. The nights grow long. It's getting colder. Winter is coming. Leaves have fallen from the trees. There are no berries on bushes. Insects are gone. The grass is dead and brown. Birds and other animals are getting ready for winter. Oh, it's the rabbit. And the squirrels. Hmm. Let's see. Some of the birds will go south. Bluebirds and orioles go toward the south. They go where it is warm. They go where it is sunny and there's food for them to eat. Many butterflies go south. That is what the monarch butterflies do. These are monarch butterflies. They gather in a tree by the hundreds before cold weather comes. They stay in the tree all night, and in the morning, they fly away. Monarch butterflies look like this. Um, and if, if you could see the color, they're a bright orange color. Many bats fly south, too. But some bats stay in the north all winter. When the weather gets cold, they go to a cave. There's no wind or snow in the cave. The bats sleep there all winter. They do not eat. They live on fat stored inside them. They do not move. They hardly breathe. They sleep, sleep, sleep. They hibernate. Bats and woodchucks hibernate. They do this so that they can live in the winter when they cannot find food. Here is a woodchuck. You, maybe you call him a groundhog or a marmot. He gets ready for winter too. When fall comes, he eats and eats and eats. He eats grass, twigs, and leaves. He grows fat. When it gets cold, the woodchuck crawls into his long tunnel and go to, goes to sleep. He hibernates. Remember, this is called a woodchuck. It also might be called a marmot, and also may be called a groundhog, which is the name I know it by. That's what sounds familiar to me, a groundhog. But he has three names. Does he sleep for a day? Mm -hmm. Longer than that. Does he sleep for a week? Longer than that. A month? Even longer. A woodchuck can sleep as long as four months. The woodchuck seems barely alive. He breathes very slowly. His heart beats slowly, slowly, slowly. He sleeps, sleeps, sleeps. When the winter is over, he wakes up. He crawls out of the long tunnel. He is weak. The woodchuck eats what food he can find. There's not much, for plants have just started to grow. Some animals do not hibernate. They gather food and save it for the winter. That is what a pika does. A pika looks like a chipmunk in some ways, but he is bigger. He lives in the high mountains where winter, winters are long and cold. Pikas eat grass. In summer, they cut more grass than they can eat. They spread the grass on flat stones and the hot sun dries it. At the end of the summer, a pika may have gathered 50 pounds of grass. He hides it under rocks. In winter, he eats the dry grass. It keeps him alive. Squirrels gather food, too, and save it for winter. They dig holes in the ground. They bury hickory nuts and acorns. When winter comes, they dig them up and they eat them. Sometimes, squirrels forget where they buried their nuts. Trees may grow from these nuts that the squirrels forget.
Some animals do not get ready for winter at all. They do not store food. They do not hibernate. They must hunt for food all winter long. There are mice that must hunt all winter long for seeds of goldenrod, asters, and other wild plants. Sometimes they eat the farmer's corn, oats, and wheat. The deer must dig in the snow for dried leaves, plants, and moss. When the snow is le- excuse me, when the snow is deep, he must eat the twigs, the buds, and the barks of trees. The rabbit must hunt under the, under the snow for bits of grass and plants. When the snow is deep, he too eats buds of bark of bushes so that he can stay alive. In the winter, the fox hunts for mice and rabbits. So does the wolf. When the winter is cold and the snow is deep, many animals cannot find food. They get very hungry. These are some of the ways of wild animals in winter. Let's see, there's the deer. There's, it looks like a fox over here and looks like maybe a mouse. Rabbits, that's just some of the ways of the animals.